that's 28, yeah, 29, uh, and 30. Whew, now that's a lot of scarves. Uh, but I just couldn't pass up a good deal on scarves. I mean, it is winter time after all. Yeah. Hey, Tucker. Uh, Oh, hi, Miss Katie. Who are you talking to, and why do you have so many scarves? No, oh, I was just talking to myself. No, I do that sometimes. Well, probably because I'm just so excited to have found all these really cool scarves on sale. I am all set. All set for what? Your neck is only big enough for one scarf. <laughs> no, well, yeah, but I can wear a different scarf every day for the whole month. I mean, it is a winter wonderland outside, and the scarf is essential. Well, see? I have this blue one on, and Ooh. it really looks wintry. I like it. You do have a lot of nice scarves there, Tucker, but where are you going to store all of them? I don't think you're going to fit them all on your shell. Of course not, silly. I had to buy a container to put them in. Oh, see? Well, this is a pretty nice container, but I don't think it's big enough for 30 scarves. And the price tag here says it's $25. That's a lot of money for just a container to hold a bunch of scarves you don't really need. Mm, well, you're right. Uh, I was debating whether or not I should have bought the big toy container. That was only $15 more. I think I'll return this one for a bigger one. Wait a second, Tucker. I think we thought we have another option. But, what, really? No, are you just going to let me store them at your house? That's not what I was thinking. I don't think I have enough room in my house for 30 scarves. I was thinking that you could share them with some of the kids at the children's home who might not have, an, have a warm scarf to wear in the winter time. What? No, Miss Katie, you mean g give away my special scarves? And why, why wouldn't they have their own scarf? Well, you see, some kids just aren't as well off as we are, Tucker, so it's nice to share our extra items with them. You know, our Bible story today is a story that Jesus told about sharing. Maybe you should listen to it. Oh, you're right, Miss Katie. Uh, I'm always telling the kids about how important it is to share. Oh, and I got caught up in something I really liked a lot, thinking I needed to keep a lot of them for myself. But we should always share with others. Oh, I'm going to go pick out a few I like and then give the rest away. D do you think you could drive me to the children's home? I'd be happy to, Tucker. Kids, put your listening ears on because the story Jesus told in the Bible is up next. Here, Tucker, let me help you pack up your scarves. Oh, okay. You know, Miss Katie, this isn't as bad as the time I got hooked onto a turtleneck. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. I'm Mr. Daryl, and I get to share a story with, with you guys from the Bible today. Are you ready? If you are, say, tell me a story. Okay, great. Well, this story is one that Jesus told about a farmer. Hmm? And if Jesus told a story that was in the Bible, then we know that it's true. True. That's right. Good job. <laughs> in this story, there was a farmer who grew a lot of food. <laughs> Look at this. He had so much food. And that's, it was actually, he grew Cheerios. And he had a great big barn. Look at this. So we're going to put his food in this barn. Hmm? He decided he's going to store it up. So here we go. You guys want to help me? All right, let's do it. Pour the Cheerios in the barn. Look at this. Look at this. Whoa. That's a lot of Cheerios. Oh, my God. Guys, there's a problem. There's a problem. Whoa. Whoa, guys, did you see this? There's not enough room in the barn. There's not enough room in the barn for all the cereal. Oh. What's the farmer going to do now? Hmm. So the farmer thought and he thought. Why don't you guys think with me? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and finally he decided, I know, I'm going to build a bigger barn. So that's exactly what he did. So let's put this back. This little barn will never do. And let's get a big barn. Everybody say, whoa, that's a big barn. Whoa, I know it is. Barn. Okay, so now we're going to pour all the cereal in the big barn. Are you ready? Help me pour. Oh, yeah. Do you guys think it's going to fit? Let's find out. Let's find out. Whoa, it did fit. <laughs> Everybody say hooray. hooray. Yeah, 
This is all good. Except for, uh-oh, there's a problem. Yeah, you see what's going to happen? There's so much food in the barn that it's not going to stay good very long. It's all going to be rotten before the farmer can even eat it all. So, what's something else that he should have done with the food? Share! You're right. The farmer should have chosen to share the food with other people. But instead, he wasted it. Hmm. Everybody say, oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Jesus told us this story to remind us that we should share with others instead of keeping it all to ourselves. Hey, I got a question for you. Can you share our toys with others? Yeah! Yeah, we can share our toys when friends come over to play. We can share food with others too, right? Can we take meals to other people who are in need? You better believe it. I'm so glad that Jesus taught us this story about sharing. Who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches, Jesus teaches me, me important, important things. things. Good job, friends. Hey, let's clap our hands and pray as we talk to God. Dear God, thank you so much for teaching us the story about the farmer and help us to do our best at sharing with others. We love you, God. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. You know what? All this cereal is making me hungry. I'm going to go get a snack. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I need some milk. Nothing is too hard for you, no.